today we are going to see the lead code question and uh, let's see to the question that we have is uh, 2492 and uh, the minimum score of the path between two cities so let's read the question so question saying that you are given a positive integers n and representing n cities uh, number from uh, 1 to n and uh, you are given 2d array roads where roads of i is a and b and the given distance right so that indicates the bidirectional road between city a and city b which with a connection uh, with a distance equal to distance right and uh, means uh, uh, if you will find the i so a and b is the road and this is the distance between them so the graph is not necessarily connected right so cities graph is not necessarily connected the graph of the path between two cities is uh, defined as the minimum distance of the road in this path the score of the path uh, between the two cities is defined as the minimum distance of the road in this in this path right and then it is saying return the minimum possible score of a path uh, between city n 1 and n okay minimum path minimum possible score of a path between one and n. So what is the score? The score is between the two cities is defined minimum distance between the road. Okay. So now what we have to do? We have to keep in the note that a path is a sequence of road between two cities and is allowed for path to contain the same road multiple times. So you can visit city one and n multiple times along the path, and the test um, the test cases are generated such that at least one path between one and n. Okay. I think you have understood. So let's understand this example right so example one is saying that uh, we have given one four two three like this we have given so first uh, it is given one two one two nine means the distance between one and two is what the nine okay similarly others we have given and is four we have given four cities we have given now what we have to do we have to find the minimum distance if you'll find the distance there is 9, there is 6, there is uh, 5 and there is 7. So this is our minimum distance, right? So what we will do? We will return this one, okay? So from the, uh, from the, you can say city 1 and 4, uh, the, with the minimum score is, right? So what we have to see, uh, what I am saying, first of all, uh, from city 1 to city 4, okay? The distance is, uh, the minimum score is given what? So how will find the minimum score? So it is saying that what we have to do, we have to find the uh, distance between uh, uh, the path, right? So what do we have to do? Uh, we have to check the minimum uh, path, right? And uh, it is saying that we are going 1, 2, 2 and 2, 2, 4. Okay, A 1, 2 and 4, 1, 2 and 4, 1, 2 and 4 it is going. 1, 2, and 4. Okay. So, if you find the distance, right? So, which one is minimum? Okay. So, first it is going 1, 2, and then 4. So, the S score should be what? There is 9 and there is 5. Yeah. See, what is saying that we, ha we are going from 1 to 4. Okay. We are going to 1 to 4. So, initially, um, when we are going to first, we will go 1 to 2, right? And then for means we'll go from here and then we'll go from here right so what is the distance are coming 9 is coming and 5 is coming so what you will do we will find the minimum right between uh, 9 and 5 you can say so what is minimum minimum is we are getting 5 got it understood let me try okay so what I'm saying that uh, first of all, see we have given what uh, roads we have given, right? So roads we have given is like what one, two, nine. So one is the node and two is the you can say other node, other city, and the distance between this is nine. So what is saying that uh, first of all, what we will do? We'll go from uh, let's suppose we are going from one to uh, four, okay? One to four we are going. How we'll go that? First we'll go one, two, two, and then two, two. Four will go correct like this we can go so from 1 to 2 the distance is what 9 and from uh, 2 to 4 what is the distance 5 
So if we find the minimum, what is minimum? Minimum is nine, right? Uh, sorry, five, and that's why it is returning output. Now understand another example. So in this example, what we have, uh, uh, we will go. Let let suppose we are going from what uh, cities one to uh, city four, correct? So first of all, what we will do, uh, we'll go from one to three. 1 to 2 let's suppose for first of all we will go to 1 to 2 and uh, again we will come to uh, we'll come, we, we can come back right and when we come back we will go to back to here right here so sorry first we have gone 1 to 2 and then we have come to here right so its distance is what uh, we will check uh, 1 to 2 is 2 okay and it is coming again is 2 now it is uh, going back what uh, 1 to 1 to 4, 1 to 3 it is going, right? So 1 to 3 distance is what? 4 we have. From uh, 4 it is going, the distance is what? Uh, 7 we have 4, reaching to 4. So to reach from what? 1 to 2 and then 2 to 1 and then 3 and then 4, right? Means we want to go to 1 to 4, right? Let's suppose. So you can see that from 1 to 2 it is the distance to 2 to 1 distance is 2, 1 to 3 distance is what, uh, 4 and uh, 3 to 4 is 7, correct. This way we are going, right. So if you find the minimum of these, right, what is the minimum, 2 is the minimum, right, because uh, we are actually moving, right, from 1 to 2, that's why it is returning output 2. You don't have to do plus this one, right, total distance is not from here to here, right. This is cyclic, look like cyclic, right. But we are going from 1 to 2, right? And we are when coming back, we will not consider 2 again, right? We can go and back multiple times, okay? I think you understood. And uh, so that what we have, constant we have given is the n is will be greater than or equal to 2 and less than 10 to the power 5. Roads distance we given, uh, length of i is being on 3 is to the have. And similarly, these distances we have given, no repeated edges we have and uh, there is at least one path should be between one two and okay so coming back to uh, the problem right so this can be solved by dfs bfs union or either you can use uh, uh, graph technology either, right so uh, first of all we will try with uh, depth first search then we will use bfs and then we use union find okay and uh, hint is given can you solve the problem if the whole graph is connected right and uh, now it is saying that notice that if the graph is connected right so you can always use an edge of the graph in your path and another can how to solve the general problem in a similar way remove all the nodes of the connected from one to end and then apply the previous solution in the graph right so these hints saying that you can use dfs bfs and union graph correct so what we'll do let's go to the you can say browser and we'll try to implement this one okay so first of all we'll go with the breadth first search right bfs uh, so uh, depth first search and then we will implement this one so dfs what is dfs so to find uh, you can say the minimum weight of s in our a component containing node 1 another method is to use uh, right BFS also have but that to use the DFS right it's very important to understand right in DFS we use recursive function right we use recursive function to export all the nodes right we'll start from here then we'll go to this node then we'll go to this node right like this we will go okay and uh, again we'll come to the its left children and then we will export its all node right like this. Similarly, okay. So we are here on the code side, right? And we'll do what? We'll do. Uh, you can say depth first search DFS, and we'll implement our. Uh, you can say approach. Okay. So we will use depth first search and we'll try to implement this one right so in the depth first search right uh, we have given what we have given roads we have given all the nodes we have given 
and another what we have given we have given its uh, you can say <coughs> n right number of nodes we have given so what we will do first of all we should we should use adjacent node and to store all its uh, node and its uh, you can say list of uh, nodes right so let's suppose we have map and map contains what uh, it will take integer so we'll take integer and then we'll take what list of you can say uh, list of uh, a list of integer right let's suppose list and we'll take integer okay so this is this will be our list right this will be our list this will be the node for uh, neighbors right let's suppose we have a node right 10 nodes we have right so 10 nodes we have and the particular node have a list of neighbor so that will come here okay now what we will do now what we will do we'll give this name adjacent right this is our adjacent node right or adjacent cities you can say cities right and then what we will put here we will uh, take our new has map like this correct after this we will move to uh, all its uh, you can say uh, road given road will move and uh, road of five you can say and then we will uh, initialize our adjacent cities right so how we'll do that first of all we'll go to uh, int this is our road correct so we'll take road from what and the given roads road, road road of i you can say this is this is the roads we have given right and from there we'll get right so this is our 2d array right so from 2d array i'm getting 1d array okay so you can write like this also both meaning is same okay now what we will do we will uh, initialize this one right so we now we have road right now we have road and we have adjacent cities we have okay on the adjacent cities what we will do we will do compute if absent and we will initialize like this compute what happened it should come actually okay let me check why it is not going compute and there is a compute if uh, absent it should come compute if absent right and it will store what two thing it will store the first will take road of i each road contain two thing right let's suppose that we are talking I, I have written like this right previously i use written like this okay so what does it mean right so road of i will have uh, zero another so there there will be a you can say city a right similarly will have city b let's suppose like this at what at one zero and one it is connected first this is first city this is another city both cities are connected with each other so a road of i and that is nothing but our what uh, you can say we can put here zero i is nothing but zero right so road of i uh, you can say zero means first uh, city a that is a city a will store some data and that is data is at road of road at a zero right another will have a you can say item you can take item so item uh, or you can say um, our city list right items will connected uh, or you can say cities cities is connected with what list of array right this will be our array so we will put like this cities and then we'll pass our first we'll pass our list <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry and then we'll our pass integer see i'm talking about this one so this will be our list correct so this will come here okay because we are passing what list of integer okay so it will come like this integer 
okay i think you understood so once we have array of you can say this list then we will say this is our uh, new we are initializing and then we will add what uh, sorry once we have initialized then we will add here and we'll say uh, we will put what arrays here arrays and we'll do uh, dot s we can say and we can pass a uh, uh, list right and this list will uh, contain i have zoom out so this list will contain what uh, road of will have our road at one the city b so city b and city uh, you can say city uh, two CD1 and CD2 each container because because see road 0 is CTA and each CD connected with road 1 and road 2 right CTA it can be connected with CTA, CTB, CTC like we will have so I can write one more line so it will be easy to understand we can say this is CTC and that is coming on what on like this you can write okay once this is done it's ready right so what you will do you'll do semicolon you'll complete now i'll copy this line of code and we'll do for the same for when we are at road b right so road b will add what a and b so I was saying just for understanding, right? So I'll put what road zero and road a, a, a connected with another one, right? So I'll put what uh, road at one here, and we'll say it is connected with what uh, road zero now, right? Road zero and road uh, two will remain same. Okay. I think you understood, right? Either it is you can keep like this. Don't worry. You can keep this like so this is connected with one and this will connect it with what zero that's all now you are connected with all the uh, you can say your, your adjacent cities is uh, representing a list of you can say each node is having a list of integers right each node has that. so it will like uh, city road a yeah city a here let's suppose it is city city a city is connected with b c let's suppose two two li list in the list contain b and c okay so it will look like this if you re-represent the has map right it will uh, look like like uh, map contain map the map will contain what c t a right c t a and c t a is connected with what two things what the first is c t a and c t c sorry c t b and c t c to b and c like this okay i think you understood now what we will do uh, we have already initialized this one right uh, we after the for loop right we have initialized so what we will do now uh, we will make a uh, uh, for the visiting node right we have to visit all the nodes and then we have to find the minimum right so what we will do we will say visited cities visited cities and uh, I'll take like this okay or I can I'll do like this visitor cities and these cities will take what uh, it should be uh, written as a boolean so I'll take boolean right and this city will containing a uh, returning boolean and so it will store yes or no of all the nodes so I'll put n plus one for uh, visiting all the nodes it can repeat so we have to increase plus one now what we will do we'll create one uh, give me one second okay now what we will do we will initialize uh, we will uh, visit all the nodes and then we will store here in the visitor cities after this we will create one dfs utility method if you will remember I used to uh, write the DFS utility method only so that we can uh, do the cursive pulse right 
so this is our recursive calls in which we will pass uh, the starting uh, you can say index then we'll go to a uh, adjacent cds right and then i will go to the visited uh, you can say cities okay? and then once it is ready what we will take one will take one uh, one let me right we will take one uh, you can say uh, integer right so int uh, will take our uh, result and this result will contains what uh, integer 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 dot max value we will initialize from here and we, we will update its uh, result and we'll find our result minimum into dfs utility and once dfs utility is done then it will return this answer right minimum as you can give the name result as a result me yes, result score right you can say result score or you can say directly a score let me write score that is better so this is our score we will return our score so each time we will update and we will update update minimum score uh, through you can say D dfs function okay now we'll go to uh we'll, we'll go to our uh, dfs function right dfs uh, recursive function right so to write this what i'll do i'll go to here and we'll say so dfs uh, method is not returning anything as you can see is line 15 here it is not returning anything but it is taking argument so what i'll do i'll take a return type as a white and i'll put uh, the name as same right so let me write from here to here better so this here function i'll create the body here so while creating the body we have to define the argument so first of all the argument will be the starting node or index node you can say or root node you can say that i'll pass node and uh, this is our uh, cities is a has map so i'll use from here to here as a has map so I'll, this has map and another is our uh, boolean type value uh, that will contain our visited list that's all we have right now uh, what we will do we'll first of all we'll mark our uh, given node and say it is visited right so on to the visited what we'll say this is our visited cities and visited cities of this given node on the uh, dfs we have already now if we are going to visit so we'll mark it as a true that we have visited now right so after this what we will do we we'll check on the adjacent node are we have visited this node or not so on the adjacent we'll check if we are not visited this node right visited node uh, in, on the adjacent we'll take adjacent dot contains is a method on contains key is a method right so contains sorry contains key is a method and it contains uh, it will check the node are we uh, visit, uh, have we visited this node or not right so if we have uh, not visited right let's suppose if we have not visited means we will continue oh, we'll do what we'll return uh, we will return here and we'll not do anything okay if we have uh, not visited right will not if it contains what if it contains uh, node right if not then what we will do we will not do anything and uh, uh, we'll check right what we'll check we'll say for uh, if it is not running right yeah then what we should do we'll uh, on the adjacent if we have already visited this node let's suppose then we'll get our all nodes from this node and this is our current node right so i'll get a list of node right from the adjacent as you can see uh, we are passing a node and it stored what a list of what node right it is taking list of nodes so i'll take here i'll say like this okay 
so this will take a list of uh, each node contains a list of integer uh, integer node right like this correct list of integer and this is nothing but our what is or you can say uh, uh, road distance right between the both so this edge is nothing but about road right uh, road distance you can say a edge is a road distance that connects from each other right now what i'll do uh, you have our all the you can say edges right if you have all, all the edges right now what we will do uh, we have got our adjacent from the adjacent right it's not right i'll put uh, we have score right so we have our score so on the score what we'll do uh, we'll call our uh, we can say uh, score we'll, we have to find it so what we'll do we'll find math dot there is a mean and on here we'll pass our uh, score and another what we will pass our now uh, we have as we have given so from the as we'll get at one at one it will be uh, some value right so that will update its you can say score okay i think understood now what we will do uh, first it will contain uh you can say nodes and other will contain yeah is distance so each time we will update our score right now what we will do we will uh, uh check right if if uh, we have not if the visited node uh, is not at what uh, visited node sorry uh, the um, if this node is not visited let's suppose if this node is not visited so what I'll do, I'll pass. Uh, you can say not here like that. We'll pass our get, and this get method will contain your. Uh, you can say index. This is the we will get our node at here at this is, and uh, once this is done, we'll make. Uh, you can say here if this is not visited, we'll call again the DFS. If it is not visited. I think yeah. Then what we will do? So DFS utility method. We have DFS utility method. Now what we will do? We'll pass our S right, and uh, we'll call our S dot get um, the index zero and uh, adjacent cities, and another is visited cities. All these three things will pass. And then each time it will update the score, right? So let me wait. See what I have done here. Uh, as you can see, first I have taken a score, then uh, we, I am updating a score here as a minimum, right? In the DFS, right? And then I am updating score here. So through the DFS utility method, we are updating, right? So while updating, first we will mark the visited as a node. We'll check if uh, adjacent contains this key is uh, true. So if it is not true, we will return, right? And then we'll continue this one. If adjacent have this node, then we'll continue and we'll update our uh, score. And uh, if uh, not, it's visited, then what we'll do, Conti we'll continue our DFS utility method, okay? Let me try. So, first of all, uh, we are getting what error one, and it is saying that expected one. Where I have taken this list, this one is going to continue. Yeah, one more. It is it should come one more. This is for one, this is for another, this is for this one. Now we are coming to line number 19. And then, then yep, yep, yep. I think this one. 
one list and one under this list. Let me submit this one. So this is working fine. So what I'll do, let's suppose, first of all, what we'll do, we'll take a, a score, right? And then this score will get updated through, uh, you can say, uh, DFS routine method. So as you can see, we are updating from the DFS routine method, right? So coming back to here, right? After this, our score is updated. So we'll return this one. Okay. To, to do uh, DFS routine, we'll need adjacent cities and visited cities. So as for adjacent cities, right? We'll take a node and its list of uh, integers, right? Like there is a, this is a key and these are the values, right? So list of cities. This is our list of cities and this is our given node, right? So the given node is as a city, right? One city is connected to multiple cities. So we'll update our adjacent uh, cities. And once it is done, we'll take one uh, visited cities and we'll update each time. So once when we're going for the, uh, you can say DFS, first of all, we will update our visited cities, right? And then we will do what? Uh, we will return. If it is not visited, if it is having visited, right? Then what we will do, we'll get the node and we'll find our uh, minimum and uh, once minimum is done if the next node is not visited it's adjacent so what will go we'll do the dfs at the next node and it will remain same okay so it will continue each time and it will update our you can say a score here and once it is uh, score is updated so we will get some minimum value so we'll return this uh, value okay so i think you understood right uh, if you have any doubt in this video so please uh, ping me in the comment box okay Let's now understand about, uh, you can say, com uh, complexity, right? So time complexity, right? Time complexity is, uh, let's suppose. So when we are taking each node, right? When the DFS takes one each node, as you can see here, right? Each node, it will come, it will uh, update its next node, right? So it takes O of N time, okay? Uh, in the total, because we are going for, through all the nodes, right? So because we have a unidirectional edge, right? So each edge can only be iterated twice, right? So node at the end, right? Uh, resulting in O of E, let's suppose O of E, because it's uh, visiting, uh, you can say each edge uh, is visiting, iterating twice, right? So we'll say O of E, right? And uh, the total operation for visiting all these nodes, we also need O of E time, right? And uh, to initialize all these uh, array elements, we need O of N times, right? So if you do the sum of this one, so it will become O of N plus E or E plus E, you can say, right? This is our time complexity, okay? And for the space complex complexity, because we are iterating each time all, right? So it will take same as a uh, time complexity, okay? So time complexity of uh, uh, space complexity is also taking what? O of N plus E and time complexity which also o of this one okay so thank you guys if you like this video please hit subscribe and uh, share this video for, uh, with your friends and colleagues so that you will uh, get more videos like this right and please subscribe this channel so the next part of the video we will see the breadth for search if you want the breadth for search videos please uh, uh, comment into the comment box so will i upload this okay thank you so much